All right, I'm gonna go through on how to use this thing. What you wanna do to set it is you wanna hit the S. It's gonna say F1. What you wanna do is uh, press up. What you press up, that's what you see you see the temperature. You can press up or down and set it by tenths. Okay, I have it set it to uh, 27.4. That's around 81 degrees. This is Celsius. They don't make them in Fahrenheit, so you'll just have to get a conversion chart. After you're done, press the very top key right there. All right, you hold down the S again. We'll go through that through the rest of the settings. I'll tell you what they are. What you see F1. What you want to do is let go of the S key, hit up once. You'll see F2. Hold your S key, and then you'll see it says 0.5. That's the variance. So it'll cut on if it falls between uh, half a degree. Uh, if it falls half a degree low, then it'll cut on uh, the heat. If it goes a half a degree high, it'll cut on the um, the cooling side. It has a cooling side, and it's made for um, if you had a chiller hooked up to like a um, fish aquarium. Yeah, heating and a and a cooling. It also works for an incubator if you have a um, a fan hooked up to it to cool the incubator off if it gets too hot. All right. So after we're done setting that, just press your your power key as well at once. All right, it goes back. As you see, we're heating. If we touch our probe and hold it, you'll see we'll increase. You'll see it'll cut off as soon as it gets to the to the exact temperature we set it at. All right, and you see it squished over to cooling as soon as it got a little too hot. Um. Now, if you don't have anything hooked up to the cooling, then you're fine. It's not going to do anything, but it's always going to switch to it. There's no way to turn it off. Now, hit the S again, and let's go to number three, F3. Because it has F1, 2, 3, and 4. And they each do a different thing. All right. So, we'll just go 1, 2, 3. Well, I went past it. Okay, F3. If you hit the S again, you'll see that says three minutes. That's for compressor delay. And that's if you had a chiller hooked up to it or something like that that would have a compressor running for the cooling side. And then it only allows that item to come on three minutes after the last time it went off. So that way it doesn't come on too quickly and overheat the compressor. So we're not even going to be using that. So we're just going to go past it. What we'll S again. Okay. There we go. F4. We'll hit the S and hold it down. And you have to hold it down as you change something. It says zero zero. What F4 is is a calibration setting allowing you to raise it up or down um, depending on if you need to calibrate your thermostat. Over the years you have it, sometimes they'll get a degree or two out and you'll have to uh, you have to test them using a glass of water and ice and then you'll set it to 32 degrees and if it's not exactly 32 degrees then you'll move it up or down to whatever you need to do to, do to calibrate it. All right, to return, just hit that power key once. And there you go, you see it's heating again. I'll hold it and we'll heat it up. There we go, we cut off. That's really all it is to it. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to, to uh, post them and, and I'll answer them. All right, thank you guys.